Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this brand new box that we have received from Buzz TV Group. It is called Buzz TV XRS4500. It is a S905X3 chipset that comes with 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB internal storage, Gigabit LAN, which everybody's asking for, and Mio Mimo Wi Fi, which is 2x2 two two antenna. Remember, everything is internal. We will show you right now, going through it, and then step by step, we will walk you through that what we got. And I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the subscribe button. Also, share this with your friends and family, and make sure you click the notification icon. This way, you will be notified once we have a new video out. Plus, click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly for you. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. So you can see that the box is really nicely designed. Going in the back, it has a lot of information that you are asking for. Once we slowly open the box, you can see that, that it has really customized box. So it has their logo. And then looking on top of it, the box is sitting there. So once you take everything out, the components that are part of this is, here's the first little box when we open it. They are packaged it really nicely and you can see their logos all over it. So let's just open it up. Here's the best part. They have a little part so that way everything is intact. So you do not have to worry about not going to package it nicely. So this is 5 volt 2 amp and you can see it right there. And this is created for Canada and United States, so this way your box will power up. But the connector part of it is not the same as the 4000 or the 3000. This is a little bit different. Remember that the voltage do matter. So we're going to put this aside. The next package is the HDMI cable. It does indicate cable in the front. And again, same way, has a really nice color to it. So each model have their own color. So this way you're not going to mix it up. And once you take out the HDMI. This is HDMI 2.0 by the way, so this will work on 4K 60 Hertz perfectly. So it comes with a user manual and in the user manual it will give you all the information on the top that it is XRS4500. It also have the same type of number for the XR4500, but the user manual should be exactly the same on both of them according to what we're reading here. It also indicates what's going to be inside of the package, which I'm just going to cover. Also, it tells you about the connection, what you need to connect to the back of the device itself, and also go into the installation. And there are some troubleshooting steps just in case if you ever get stuck. Go on at the back part of it. It also have the remote, which we will show you in a few seconds, but it has all the functionalities written for you with proper coloring so this way you know exactly what you're going to look at and how you're going to be able to manage it. Go into the other side of it. It also has some learning features for the remote itself so that we can control your TV. We will show you a few steps there too and also it shows you the light indicator what you will see and how you're going to show up. So hopefully we will try to cover it in this video. If we didn't, do request at the bottom of the video, we will make another video for you. Going on the other side of it, it does indicate about how you can pair it, the remote itself, because it is Bluetooth, to your box. So under warranty, I have to mention that they do have a little part which is not created yet for the registration. But if you go on the bottom part of it, you do have the actual support website. And this way you will get really supported. So if you need, your box needs repairing anything, these guys are awesome working on it. Here is another little box that we have received. Now this is the remote control. So let's just open it up. I really like the packaging the way that they have done. So this way the remote itself does not move comes with an energizer battery and here is the remote so it is inside of a little plastic we will take it out and here you go now it has a lot of documentation in the back so this is how you're going to be able to pair this with your TV but here you go this is the remote so you can see you can see from the top we have the power and the source this is the one that you're going to be able to control your TV for the source and power and then also you have this power for your box itself. There's the indicator and also there is a little part on the top so that way it will learn. And going on the top part of it is where the IR sensor will be. And then you do have the magnifying glass, play and pause and everything there too. Here's the best part. They have favorite button right there, category, 
and also this static mouse. Remember, this is Bluetooth, so it's not going to work with an air mouse. Here you go, this is the menu, and then you have the full navigation keys. I really like this design here, which is blue. It always going to stick to your mind, and also you have the live TV and then the guide button right there. Going down, you have full volume up, volume down, and also channel, and numeric buttons there too. The only thing that I saw is when you turn this backlit on, because this is Bluetooth backlit, shows white, but you can see the colors are in the bottom. So you just have to make sure that you know which one you're pressing. So if you want a favorite or you want to record something or you want to go to categories, it is all going to be here. So once it is dim, I'm going to show you that too. Also, you have the Buzz logo really nicely in the bottom and it's not going to be rubbed off. And what I really like is the what type of material they used. So it is not going to give you any kind of fingerprint residue. That's a really good sign. Now going on the back part of it is where you're going to open so you can put the batteries in the back. And yes, the battery is included inside of the. So here you go. We just turned off all the lights. We just have minimum light so that way we can see the keys, how it's going to show up. So any button that you press, it will light up. And this way you're going to be able to see your nice colors to the buttons itself. It doesn't matter which button you want to press. What I really like is this is laser cut. So this way you're not going to see the full keys going to be lit up. Just the parts that they have designed is going to be lit up. And that's about it. Here comes the big moment when we are going to open the box itself. So I have already played with this a little bit. So I am really excited to look at this. So this is the Buzz TV XRS 4500. You can see on the top it says 4 gigabyte of RAM. It's a 64 gig internal storage. I really like this, how they have actually designed this. It does indicate there that this is AM Logic S905X3 chipset. It's a gigabit LAN to it, OS9, and it is MioMimo 2x2 Wi Fi. And they have their logo. But the best part is that this is just a sticker. So if I take it out slowly, you're going to see it is just on the sticker. So on it itself, you don't see that. It is very shiny and it is really fingerprint attractive. So that way you're going to grab your fingerprint on it once you put it on. I'm not going to take it off. I really like it. So that way it shows up and for the future uses. So I'm going to leave it there. But here's the best part. So from the front, you have the actual logo. And when you turn it on, this will change color and I will show you. And then we will go to the right side of it. Here is the best part. We have one TF card reader, and that is the micro SD card reader, which can read up to 128 gigabyte. Then you have one USB 3.0, then you have one USB 2.0. Now go into the back, you have an AV port. So this way you can connect it to older type of TV. I would not recommend to do that. Plus the adapter is not included. Also you have a gigabit LAN, then you have HDMI 2.1 connection. You have optical audio connection. So this we can connect it to older type of stereos. Then you have the five volt, two amp DC connection. Going on the other side of it, there's nothing there. Now going to the bottom, you have a lot of holes for ventilation and you also have four little legs so it can stand up. And those are all designed by the shape of the Buzz TV logo. Now looking in the middle part of it, it does say Buzz TV and also it says made in China. And you do have a little sticker that will show you your MAC address and your serial number. Enough said about this. Let's get this connected. In order to connect it first, make sure you connect the HDMI wire first and then connect the power. Now, if you are going to use an air mouse remote, which is recommended, you have to connect a little connector on the USB and then it should boot up. So once you turn it on, the first thing that you will see is the Buzz logo, and then it goes into a beautiful animation. And then it will take a couple of seconds for it to go through. So it kind of bypassed that one part that it is going to pair the remote. 
and I tried to do it again because I had to set this box up before I can go next and it looks like I missed it. But again, the same way that you have to hold the OK button and the volume down button for a few seconds, this is what you're going to see and then you can use the same remote to press OK and it will be pairing. So it takes a couple of seconds for it to pair and once it is done, then it would be a breeze. All right, so as soon as you turn it on and you set up everything, this is what you're going to see. Remember that I have done some little changes on the main screen and I will show you how you can put everything together. So first of all, this is the UI. It looks exactly like the XR and XRS 4000 series from Buzz TV. You have the logo really small on the top, which is really good. Some boxes have really huge icons. This is really cool. And then going towards the right side, you have the Wi-Fi if, you're, if it is connected. Also Bluetooth because of the remote that we have. And also you have the LAN connection. So we are connected via LAN. Also you have the time and the date right there, which is accurate. Now going to the main page, you have some icons, which is really mandatory for you to have in order for you to play around. And then we will go through it each one by one to see what it is. And then we have all apps. So this way, when you go to it and you select it, you're going to see all the other apps that are inside of it. All right, so let's just get back out for a few seconds. And then you have the App Store. Now the App Store is also inside here. It is called Aptoid that you can use in order for you to download some games and also get some apps without signing into Google Play Store. But you do have Google Play Store, which is right there. And in this way, you will be able to play around. All right, so we will get out of that too. And the next part is these apps that are here. And this is what we selected and we added it by just pressing this button. And then you can add and remove an app. So in order for you to move one of these, like this one, if you hold for a couple of seconds, you will get this little pop-up in the bottom that you can move the icon. Also remove the shortcut from the main screen, or you can totally uninstall that app itself directly from the shortcut. In order to move it, you have to click on move and then go next and leave it. Just press OK on it and then it will stick there. So this is how you're going to be able to move any of this apps from right to left and from left to the right. All right, so let's go through and show you the next part, which will be the settings and the Buzz TV. So the first part is that they have totally catered everything so that way it will work only with this box. So when you go into settings, you can see that everything has been set up all together. So yes, I have to cut a few parts from this. So this way it is not going to show up, but here you go. So you have your network and then you have your account sign in and also you have all apps. So this way you can go in and if you have to set up or delete something inside of it, you can do it directly from here. And you can go inside of the app and you can say uninstall. This one, I do not know where it came from and I do not want it. So I will just say OK to delete and it will be totally deleted. So once you go back out of it, you also have the device preferences. This is where you're going to be able to see about and this is where you're going to be able to see the name and also going down, you have the model number, version of the OS itself, which is nine and it is customized nine, by the way. And if you go down the built numbers there, so this way you know how accurate your box is. The best part I like is the Android security patch is brand new. You can see this is done this month on February, which is 5th of 2020. So it is not really old, but we will get out of that too. And also you have the remote and accessories. This is for the Bluetooth that you can connect your Bluetooth remote or you can remove it. So you can only use it as an IR remote. It's going to be here. So we will get out of that too. The next part is the buzz utility. This is where you're going to be able to see your system update. So you can click on check for update. And if there's anything available, it will tell you to update or this is what happens. It will tell you that no update found. So you can click on close and it will go away. The next part is the backup and restore. When you click on it, you can back up your full box on a USB. So this way, if you want to move it to another box, it will be able to process. Backing up takes a little bit over 20 minutes. Restoring takes about five minutes. A next thing that I really like is going to be the home screen settings. This is where you're going to be able to see some icons in the front, which I already enabled, which is called Live TV and also VOD favorites. Another part is the power option. I know that some other Android boxes do have this option that you can set up default or you can directly, as soon as you boot up your box, directly goes to a live screen and also channel list and EPG grid. But some of these are not available in another boxes that I have seen. Uh, we will get out of that too. So that is the buzz utility. The next part is the advanced settings. When you go to it, you can fix your screen size. If you see any black lines around it, or you want to change your resolution to 4K, you can do that right here. 
Next part is the screen position. This is where you're going to be able to zoom in or zoom out so you can see black lines around it. And if it is like this, you can come here and you can fix it. So this way, you're not going to get anything lost. We will get out of this place too. The next part is the server settings. Now under server settings, you have three things. One is going to be server line, and then you have streamline and M3U list. So if you go to streamline, it will tell you to click on here, and then that way you can enter a streamline, and also the URL, and then username, and if we press back, and the password. So this way, you will be able to log in to your live TV using the username and password, if they're not going to ask for your server ID. But if they do ask, it is going to be right here. And I have to blur it out. So this way, we're not going to put anybody in little trouble. And the next part is going to be the, the server line itself. And once you click on it, this is very easy to set up. So you just have to put your URL. And then you will be able to provide your server ID to your provider. And then they will be able to connect you automatically. The next part is the M3U list. This is very, very famous. A lot of people like this. So you can just enter your URL either using the link or you can just go to your SD card and you can load your M3U list directly from your SD card and or USB and it will be able to get you connected to the internet ASAP. All right, so let's go back up a little bit and this is where we were is going to be your top 10. Remember that I know that it says top 10, but you can create unlimited list. That's not the only thing. If you click on it for a couple of seconds, you can also move your favorite list from first to the last or from the last to the first. Next part is going to be for VOD. You can do the same thing. So if I click on this one for a couple of seconds, you can move it to be first one on the list if you're going to be able to catch up with your TV shows. This is going to really help you out with your movies or TV shows. This is all going to be your favorites. The next thing we want to cover is going to be the live TV. Now we press enter this is what you're going to see so if you click on your remote if you click the left button you're going to be able to see your categories now under categories you can lock and you can unlock some of these by just pressing the green button on your remote and then you're going to be able to just hide some icons or you can leave it on so something like adult i do not want to show and this way it is going to be locked so if i press back now it's totally gone so there's no more of those lists that i just hide it and if you want to bring it back, just press the green button again, go back to it and click on it and then go back to this one. And then you have to put your password. So that way you will be able to go back to it. There you go. And now if I press back and if I have to scroll down a little bit, it will be here. There you go. All right. So that how easy it is to submit that to. And if you want to favorite certain channels, you just have to press the yellow button. It will ask you to favorite it and then you can say yes. And now it's going to be added to your favorite list. You can also access your favorite list by just going up to the favorite and it will be there very easily. And now you can go to your favorite list and you can remove by just pressing the yellow button, which indicates in the bottom of the screen too. And you can say yes and it will be removed as easy as that is. I want to mention one thing that you're probably not going to see anything on the right hand side, which it is picture in picture, but I'm just going to be blurring it out just for security purposes. There you go. That's also done. And let's go through to VOD. So in order to go to VOD, you can go back home and you can click on the VOD or you can just press the blue button on your remote and it automatically takes you to the VOD. And this is how easy it is for it to show up. So the best part is that it kind of gives you a feeling that you are in Netflix. So that way you can go to any of this you want. And then when you're trying to play it, as long as you're going to be able to click on one of these, let's click on this one. And then if you look at it, you have all the information there and you also have the play button. But the best part is that in a background, it already is starting to play for you. And this way you will be able to see it ASAP. All right, I cannot show you that too, so I will get out of it too. So this was the main part for the live TV and also VOD. I just want to mention that if you want to change your categories when you are here, you just have to press the red button and this way you will be able to just see all of your genre on the right hand side for in regards to categories. So this way you will be able to just select certain different genre and you will be in there so that way you can play your movie or your TV show ASAP.
and now you do not have to press play it automatically just plays that in a background for you so once you go to your apg and you don't see anything that's fine as long as your provider do support those channels that comes with apg you should be able to see it now if you want to go to a different category you just have to press the red button and then you can select the different categories and when you select that then it will be able to show you what is playing and when it is playing that's how easy it is and I want to mention that some of these stuff I am just going to be blurring out since there is some security reasons all right so we will press home and the next thing I want to go to is going to be recording or PVR so when you select it it's still going to look exactly like the 3000 and the 4000 series of buzz and when you go to it recording will be there and also a scheduled recording so that way you can schedule it and also you can manually schedule certain different channels and that way it will be recorded so it doesn't matter which category which channel what time or which date what time starts what minute it starts and what time it ends and also with the hour and minutes and then you can set it up so this is automatically it just going to be able to record and also going to be able to show you later i just want to mention one thing that if you do have a hard drive you want to hook it up don't hook up anything over two terabyte because it's not going to be readable one more thing that this version of buzz tv which is xr and xrs 4500 do have a little battery that they have indicated to us so that way when you're placing a record in a future and your box goes to a sleep mode it will wake itself up and it will record it for you a lot of boxes do not have this and that's why i thought it's a good feature another part is it will show you what's your internal storages and if you have any usb hooked up or a hard drive hooked up external hard drive hooked up to this it will also go to be able to show you here and i've said about it let's go through some benchmarking so the first thing that we have done is n22 benchmark and this is the number that we got for S905X3 chipset that runs 4 GB of RAM with 64 GB internal storage. So it is 85987. The next thing that we've done is Geekbench 4. Under single core, we got 891, and under multi core, we got 2327, which is a really good number for this type of boxes. Now, the next thing that we have done is going to be AIDA64 which shows you a lot of internal information. So first of all, the manufacturer is AM Logic for the chipset itself. Also the model you can see is written properly, which is XRS4500. The brand is AM Logic again. Installed RAM is four gigabyte and how much is running right now and how much is free. Also the internal storage is 64 gig, but you can see that some of them been used with the OS and also some of them going to be used with the resources. So here you go, this is how much is available and also Bluetooth version is 4 plus which is 4.1 in this case you can go to cpu it will tell you right here that it is arm cotax a55 which is four times and you can see all the four cores and it is running on 1908 megahertz it is 64 bit but it is running on 32 bit at the meantime and also the governor is interactive and then going under display itself right now i am capturing this with 1080p it is running on 91 dpi or 92 and also the gpu is molly g31 which is running on 60 hertz and everything else is there which is opengl 3.2 which is accurate but it has been really customized in order for this to work with proper heartbeat for this box now going under codex is a lot of people are asking for and you can see it right now here that it does run the h263 and also going down a little more it will tell you about vp8 and vp9 this is really mandatory for you to know that this can play 1080p and 4k 10 bit no problem and there's the vp8 all right so enough said about this too we will press home and the next thing that we want to go to is going to be your youtube so once you load this so you will be playing a 4k video which is right here you can see that there's a lot of details on this with the 4k but going more and then going under quality you can see that it is going to be playing it on 4k and it is downscaled to 1080p because i'm capturing it but you can see certain details are so nice has been properly digitized so that way you can see it in a naked eye all right so we will get out of this the next thing i want to mention is you can play netflix yes it is not an hd netflix it is sd which is giving you roughly about five 20 and not 480p just like the other ones so it is a little bit better than the other ones and it is all to do with the licensing from the netflix itself 
and that's why you're not able to see it a little bit higher resolution but when you play the video you're not going to see that much of a difference but it does play Netflix same thing with Prime videos you will be able to play and also install it directly from Google Play Store all right so enough said about everything let's go through to the speed test now we have already done some tests and you can see that when we connected via LAN these two we have a gigabit internet and also our upload rate is 30 megabits you can see that the maximum I downloaded was 712 which is beautiful and also the maximum upload was 29 using LAN connection because it is a gigabit LAN now going to Wi-Fi I first I try to do it with 2.4 gigahertz so when you click on it you can see that my Wi-Fi name do see 2G so you can see that the maximum I received was 47.9 and my upload rate maximum was 27 megabits which you can see there's not much fluctuation going through which will tell you that they have done their job properly now when we connected via 5g network now this is 5g and i just want to mention that when you're going through this there are not much of fluctuation when you're seeing this but i could not get over 215 when it come to download but when we try to upload i got maximum of 22.9 which is not bad but again there's not money connections right now to our internet in order for us to do more fluctuation or show a lot of ups and downs you can see that it is going really nice and steady going through it in order for us to get these type of results but when we go back to the LAN, you can see that again it just goes up and then same thing with the 600 there's not much fluctuations it just goes directly through very very quickly because this is LAN. so this was speed test using okla now we didn't only finish on that we went too fast so let's check this one right now what type of speed we're getting remember that I am connected via LAN so there you go this is fast is really good if you want to test this for your Netflix so you can see that this is powered by Netflix in the bottom but you can see that this is my speed right now I'm getting for Netflix using landline so I'm getting 450 which is a really good number so I will get out of that too. Now I want to mention that other things that we have processed it work really good. Doesn't matter if you are trying to play a video game on this or we trying to play a karaoke using a Bluetooth mic. And also if you want to install your Skype or more devices on this, it will work accurately for you. I want to mention that we will bring one of these boxes for giveaway very, very shortly. I will be placing a link where you can order this from at the bottom of this video. I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xetext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.